the guy's the guy's good. He, he's a great striker. There's no question about it. Look, all three judges gave Aljo the first round, and I think deservingly so. But you know, in between rounds, I really told Aljo, "Let's go kick heavy." It's offsetting his punches. I mean, I, what I was looking at in the first round was a guy that didn't want to commit. I think he was afraid of the takedown. He was. I, I think we and we knew that was going to happen, but uh, I, I wasn't really sure. I think. O'Malley expected Aljo to do in the first round what he did in the second round. And Aljo's point was that he could have made it like an Adesanya Romero fight, but the, you know, it would have been so unappleasing to the crowd, which I'm surprised because normally he doesn't talk like he gives a shit about the crowd, but he did, he did say that because I think the burden would have been on Sean. He would have been down two rounds. If Aljo just does the same thing in the first round, I don't think he was making a move. Now, I think it was because he was waiting for Aljo to sh- shoot in, but then somebody said he did have a bad rib. Maybe that played into it, too, that he was just right. going to keep his distance. But motherfucker was accurate. He hit a beautiful yeah. counter. I mean, you know, I'm a striking guy. I love it. And, you know, hats off to him, man. He caught Aljo coming in. And, uh, you know, normally Aljo, you know, goes for the leg a little differently off of the cross. But, uh he caught him. Nobody else has been able to find Aljo's head, uh, but um, that's off to him. I got nothing but, uh, you know, respect for what he did. So, uh, you know, great, great, great counter punch. Yet. And Aljo did say the movement against the cage, you know, was was a little frustrating. But he was winning, and all three judges had him winning. And I think that was the that would have been the way the fight would have won. It wouldn't have been exciting, but then it would have been on Sean to make it exciting, and then who knows what would have happened. 